Look, I know we dress for ourselves, but deep down inside, we do care about how other people view us, especially women. Now, believe it or not, there's a lot of things that guys do and wear that just completely turn women off. So if you wanna look your best and feel confident around women, then make sure you listen to these six style mistakes that girls hate seeing on guys. Now, before we get into it, if you guys like fashion, if you like sneakers, or just wanna improve yourself overall, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. Now let's go ahead and get into it. So first style mistake we're gonna talk about is hair behind the neck. Now this is overlooked by a lot of guys, but it's one of the most important areas you wanna focus on, especially if you grow a lot of hair back there. Think about it, you're out with the boys and a girl is thinking about approaching you. She walks up to you, she sees a trail of hair coming from your head to your neck to your back. She's gonna lose interest immediately. And the reason she's gonna lose interest immediately is because she's gonna realize that you don't groom yourself properly, which is something a lot of girls look for in guys. So do yourself a favor. Next time you go get a haircut, make sure they shave the hair behind your neck. It's a small detail, but it's super important. Next style mistake that girls do not like is way too much cologne. Now let me say this, if you're wearing a good smelling cologne and not something like Axe Body Spray, you're way ahead of a lot of guys. So when you do spray yourself, make sure you keep it subtle. Remember, like they always say, your scent is supposed to be discovered not announced. Meaning, you do not want to step into a room and everyone is getting a whiff of your cologne. Instead, whenever you go in for a handshake or a hug, that's when they should be able to smell it. So again, don't go crazy with the sprays on your neck, on your wrist, on your shirt. It's going to be way too much, especially for women. It's actually scientifically proven that women have a way stronger sense of smell than men. So keep that in mind. Next style mistake girls hate seeing on guys are pants that are sagging way too low. All right, look, it's 2022. You should not be sagging your pants. Now, there's only two reasons why I feel like guys sag their pants. Number one is that they bought some expensive designer underwear and they want to show it off. Two, your pants are just way too big and you do not have a belt. Now, if you're actually buying designer underwear, you have to be rich or else it's just a huge waste of money. Now, if you want some affordable underwear that are super comfortable, but the girls will also love, I would recommend the Polo Boxer Briefs. They're super soft, super stretchy, you would not regret it. Now, if your pants are way too big and that's the reason they're sagging, well then obviously you need a good belt. Now, of course, you can go and splurge on a designer belt, but half the time, no one is gonna see it unless you tuck in your shirt. So I would recommend going on Amazon. They have tons of affordable belts to choose from. I'll go ahead and leave some links down below for you guys. Next up, we have slides with dirty feet. Look, just because we're guys does not mean we need to neglect our feet they still need to be kept up with. Especially if you're a guy who rocks slides without socks, you wanna make sure your feet are on point because that's something girls will definitely notice. Cause look, the truth is if they see your feet are crusty, they're gonna assume you don't take care of anything else down there. So something I would recommend to you guys is to get a pedicure. Now, they're not too expensive and they have tons of benefits. Now it's something a lot of guys won't do because they think it's feminine, but I'm telling you right now, you try it, you will not regret it. Now, if that's too much for you, I get it. Not everyone is comfortable enough to get a pedicure, but at least lotion and clip your feet. Look, you do not wanna have dry, crusty feet with long toenails. If you're under the sheets together, it's not gonna be a good time for you guys. Next up, we have something that a lot of guys still wear nowadays, and I don't get why, but that is skin tight denim. I don't know why this was ever a thing, but skin tight denim that look like leggings on you is just not a good look. Look guys, your pants cannot be tighter than hers. If you're wearing skin tight denim, the truth is she's gonna think you don't have too much going on down there, which is not a good impression. We all know slim to baggy looks better and the girls would definitely agree. So I would recommend you just go with a slim denim if you're a fan of the slimmer look, because they look good and won't be too tight down there, making you feel uncomfortable. Now, if you really wanna go all out, then baggy denim would work for you, but you definitely have to have the right body type. Now, it really wouldn't work for me because I'm on the shorter side. It tends to look the best on tall, slim guys. So make sure to keep your pant options open, but just stay away from these. Next up is something that I'm even guilty of, and that is wrinkled clothes. Now, if you're just chilling with the boys, obviously wrinkles are not that big of a deal but you do not want to show up on a date or a party with wrinkled clothes. It's going to give off a bad first impression and it's going to look like you don't take care of yourself. Trust me, it's happened to me. You're going to get a bunch of unwanted stares. It's going to make you feel uncomfortable. So make sure you iron your stuff before you head out. Now, let's say you don't have an iron, but you're running late. One hack you can do is grab your shirt, grab some ice cubes and throw it in the dryer. 
After a while, the wrinkles will come right out. Now, of course, it's gonna look way better if you actually iron it, but it's not a bad option if you're tight on time. All right, guys, so I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you guys did, go ahead and leave it a like. Subscribe to the channel if you were not already. We're almost at 100K, and I know we can get there very soon. Appreciate all the love and support on the videos, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace. <laughs>